Hello guys, welcome to new video, I am excited to have you here and share with you all the wonderful content we have prepared just for you. Whether you are a first time visitor or a loyal subscriber, we sincerely appreciate your interest in my channel. I love to provide you with insightful, entertaining, and valuable videos that will enhance your knowledge, inspire your creativity, and brighten your day. In this video I am going to show you solving app store woes, how to fix iPhone app download issues. It can be incredibly frustrating when you want to download an app onto your iPhone, but it just won't download. Whether it's a free app or a paid one, there are a number of reasons why you might be experiencing issues with downloading apps from the app store. You can see my phone doesn't download the app. Let's fix this error. Fortunately, there are solutions to these problems, and in this video, I will fix most common issues that people face when trying to download apps, as well as providing step-by-step -step instructions for resolving them. From checking your internet connection to managing your storage space, we'll cover everything you need to know to get those apps downloaded and get back to enjoying your iPhone. So if you're struggling to download apps from the App Store, try this video, then you can download apps again. This method easy and will work. First sign out from your iPhone. Signing out of your iPhone may seem like a simple and trivial task, but it holds great importance in ensuring the security and privacy of your personal information. When you sign out of your iPhone, you are essentially disconnecting your device from your Apple ID, which serves as the key to your personal data. By doing so, you prevent unauthorized access to your accounts and safeguard your information from falling into the wrong hands. Select sign out at the bottom of the screen, on the following page, scroll down until you see the red sign out button. Tap on it to initiate the sign out process. Enter your Apple ID password, a prompt will appear, asking you to enter your Apple ID password. This is an additional security measure to ensure that only authorized users can sign out. Input your password and tap turn off to proceed. Choose data to keep, after entering your password, you'll be presented with several options. You can decide whether to keep a copy of your data on the device or delete it. It's recommended to review the options carefully before making a decision. Once you've made your selection, tap sign out to continue. When signing out we will auto sign out from App Store also. Therefore we cannot download apps without singing again. Resetting your Apple ID and password can help refresh the connection between your device and the App Store, ensuring that any authentication issues are resolved. It's also a good practice to periodically change your password to enhance the security of your Apple account. App download issues on your iPhone, one effective solution is to reset your Apple ID and password. This simple step can help resolve any potential authentication or account-related issues that may be causing the problem. Let's sing in again to device. When you sign back in, your device will restore your data from a backup or setup as a new device. This decision depends on your specific needs and preferences. Signing in also allows you to download and update apps seamlessly. With a secure account, you can access your previously purchased apps, making it easy to reinstall them or switch devices without losing any data. Additionally, signing in enables you to leave reviews and ratings for the apps you enjoy, providing valuable feedback to developers and helping fellow users make informed decisions. After sign in the phone we should sign into App Store also. To download apps. It's really easy. Just hit the profile icon and sign in with your Apple ID. By signing into the App Store, you unlock a world of possibilities. With millions of apps at your fingertips, you can personalize your iPhone with productivity tools. After sign in the App Store. Try to the download the app. Now you can see issue already fixed and apps downloading in iPhone. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. If you want to stay connected with us, click on the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we upload a new video. Don't forget to leave a comment below, does it work for you? Or not? I love hearing your thoughts and feedback. 
If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Check out some of our other videos on the screen right now, we're sure you'll find something you'll enjoy. And finally, if you want to support our channel, consider becoming a patron or checking out the merchandise link in the description. Every little bit helps us create more quality content for you. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.